All right, judges, this workout is called two turtle doves because it is actually two scores. One score is going to be the combined total of all of the gymnastics reps and wraps plus 10 reps added every time an athlete successfully completes their bike calories. More on that in a moment. So that is one score. The other score is going to be the heavy single, single snatch from both athletes. So this person's heaviest snatch, this person's heaviest snatch, added together, that is a score. So two separate scores. So at the start of the workout, both athletes are on the mat. Three, two, one, go. We will proceed forward. One athlete, Joseph, will go to the bike. The other athlete will go to the pull-up bar. Judges, remind your athlete we are facing the crowd. It's easier for the judge instead of the athlete facing back and then the judge having to be under the pull-up bar. So, in this first minute, the male athlete on the bike has to complete 16 calories. If it's a female, it's 13 calories. They will have their own judge. That judge is to stand on this side, the athlete's right side of the bike, and all they're doing is watching to make sure this athlete completes 16, or 13 for ladies, calories in the first minute. This athlete is doing as many toes to bar as they can within the minute. Judge, just make sure you stand out of the way and look for both toes touching the bar. At the end of that first minute, we will then switch. So this athlete will go to the pull-up bar, this one will go to the bike, and then same thing. There's not a call of go or start. It's when that clock rolls to the next minute, it's an immediate go. The MC might say it out loud, but it's the athlete's responsibility and the judge to know when to start. So same thing happens. I'm now responsible for 16 calories in the minute. They're responsible for as many toes to bar as possible. As a judge, write down separately how many I got on the toes to bar and then how many they got. There would be a place on the score sheet. So now we know how many both athletes got. As a reminder, there will be on the score sheet a place to check that this bike was either completed or not completed. Every bike completed is 10 reps added. You don't have to worry about that math. Our scorekeeper will do it. So that's two minutes. At the end of those two minutes, we will then both proceed to the barbell. Now we have a three minute window to snatch. We must face the crowd. Judges do not stand behind the athlete. So let's say Joseph is snatching. Judge, you're going to be up here, kind of out of their way. Never ever stand directly in front of them and also don't cross this line because the next athlete in this lane is snatching. So we will have one bar, we'll have our plates behind the athlete and we are building up to our heaviest possible snatch. That is one continuous motion from the ground overhead. Joseph, can you just show us a power snatch? So from the ground to overhead, and then stand up. They need to stand up. Now, in the event Joseph were to do some wonky snatch and receive the bar lower than the top of his head and then press it out like that, and then he presses it up, that doesn't count. In the event, he does a snatch, but he's kind of walking forward and he lowered the bar before he gains control, this does not count. So he's walking forward and then he lowers it down or drops it, that doesn't count. Uh, and you don't have to demo, but a squat snatch will count. If they go into a full squat, that's fine. If their feet move off the center line and they stand back up, that's fine. Any of the following is, is good, yes. What's not fine is if they pause anywhere in the hang and then go, denoting a hang snatch. So can you show us what would be a hang snatch? So we kind of come up and then there's some type of like pause or reset and then they go, that doesn't count. So again, in these three minutes, we as teammates can switch, <coughs> excuse me, back and forth as needed, building up. We can help each other change the weight. The judge is not responsible for changing the weight. A pair of clips must be on the bar in order for the rep to count. Judges, what you are responsible for, along with telling them that their rep did or did not count, is making sure you have the weight attempts written down. It'll all be clearly stated on the score sheet, athlete one, athlete two attempts, and if they made or missed. They probably won't hit their max snatch in this first three minutes. Up to this point, we're five minutes in. We then, right at the fifth minute, 
Do not return to the start mat. That never happens again. Now we will proceed back. Yes, so it can be the same order, but it doesn't have to be. If at this point, Joseph, in this case, wanted to start on the pull bar and I on the bike, that's fine. That's just one less thing for the judge to have to worry about. But let's say, hypothetically, we do go to the same spots. Everything on the bike remains the same for the rest of the workout. But the second round, this becomes a chest to bar pull up where I will pull up and my chest physically touches the bar. Judges, you need to be close so you can watch, all right? Make sure you're not standing in the way of another lane. For example, if your athlete's on this bar, don't stand over here, next lane, go around to that side. So chest to bar pull ups, chest touches, as many reps as they can, then we switch. Then we would go back to another three minutes of snatching, building up. This has taken us to 10 minutes. And then we would come back for round three of bike and pull up bar. And the third and final round is an AMRAP in one minute for each partner of bar muscle up. So turn over, press out on the bar muscle up. If the athlete somehow or another rests their arm, their elbow, their forearm, their hand comes off and it's physically on the pull up bar, that's a no rep. Now, in the event someone kind of gets stuck and their chest is on it and they kind of do one of these and then they get over and they press up, count that, okay? It's not beautiful, we don't condone it, but it's gonna count because we don't want to leave that up to the judge. However, again, if their arm rests on the pull-up bar here and then somehow they get up, that doesn't count. Or if their foot kicks and presses off the side post, that also does not count. So after that, three minutes to finally build to what will likely be their max snatch. That's 15 minutes and you will write down how many total gymnastics reps they got. Make sure each box is checked for how many times they completed the bike and then also write down the two heaviest weights and that will be the end of that workout.